Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics vs. DC Universe Classics Aquaman vs. Merman 2 pack. The second series of crossover 2 packs have been on shelves for a little while now. Two of Mattel's most popular collector lines collide, bringing Masters of the Universe characters right to retail shelves instead of only being made available through MattyCollector.com. The design of the packaging is very similar to what we saw with Wave 1, with the blister bubble shaped like both the DC and Masters of the Universe packages smashed together. Behind Aquaman and Merman is an ocean view background. The back of the package features some new artwork showing Aquaman and Merman squaring off. It's really nothing special. In fact, it pales in comparison to the awesome painted retro Masters of the Universe artwork that was used on the Wave 1 2 packs. And this time around, instead of coming with a comic book, we get a poster. There is a hidden pocket on the card back that, when cut open, reveals the poster within. The poster features the same simple artwork from the back of the card and is, well, incredibly small. I don't really know if this could even be considered a poster. It's that small. And it's very disappointing. So let's just move on to the action figures. Now if you already have the DC Universe Classics Aquaman figure, then you pretty much already know what you're getting, as the sculpt is exactly the same as before. But he is a terrific looking figure with an amazing sculpt and fantastic articulation. And I've always loved the way the scale-like shirt was done on this figure. It's an amazing amount of detail. The paint job is slightly different this time though. Comparing him to the single card release, you can see that the shirt now has a metallic glaze on it, giving him a almost wet look. On top of that, the belt is also made of a more metallic gold, and even the skin tone of his face is slightly different. Now just like with Aquaman, Merman is also the same sculpt as what we've received before, so if you bought him on Matty when he was available, then there's really no difference. Except that this time around he's lacking his second head, he's lacking his trident, and oh yeah, he's blue. <laughs> now the reason for the blue skin tone is because he's actually based on how Merman appeared in some of the early mini comics that were included with the vintage Masters figures. That paint job is a very bright blue with some bright yellow details, so this figure is, well, bright. <laughs> You'll also notice that those yellow details on his leggings actually extend onto his feet to form full yellow boots, which differs from the original green release who had bare feet. So my overall analysis is this. If you already have both Aquaman and Merman, then there's really nothing new here. Unless you prefer to have that new metallic paint job on Aquaman, and those mini comic blue colors on Merman, then this is definitely not a must have. Now if you don't own either of these figures, then this might be a good opportunity to grab them at a retail store. Although to be honest, the original release of Merman is much, much better than this one in my opinion. So if you need a merman for your collection, then I'd say you're better off springing for the original release. Merman vs. Aquaman is a Toys R Us exclusive and should still be available in Toys R Us stores now. Until next time... Thank <laughs> you.